my first advice to any student, regardless of what their uh, field is, is don't wrap your career around your life. Wrap your life around your career. And by that I mean, if you are never going to leave Florida because your family is here, um, you have a significant other that you see a future with and he or she is staying here, good journalism is done in every state in this country. In fact, some of the best journalism is done in the smaller towns, in the medium-sized towns. So don't like, oh, politics, I have to go to Washington or I have to go to the state legislature. You know, one of the best stories I ever covered was about a parking lot dispute. Um, and it, so, so think about who you are. You like skiing? Well then, you, you know, go work for a Utah paper or television station or Pennsylvania or what, you know, it's important to you that you're gonna have children in the future, you want the grandparents to be around. I, you know, you can build that life there. So I, I think it's more, more, more holistic than go to this city and do this. You know, someone said to me, go to a, go to a, a small town and get a great job. And so I went to Washington, D.C. So, you know, it, it was not, I didn't follow because I really wanted to go to Washington, D.C. because I thought it was a cool city. So I would first think about what do I think about? You can always reverse it. it. Doesn't you know matter? You can always go someplace else. But what do I? Where do I want to plant my life? What do I see that being? And once you got that worked out, then start looking for that job, and really, really, really want to do it because it requires a lot of you. And unless you're willing to um, put yourself and by the way, the people you love through a lot. I can't. I mean, I had children. Uh, I can't tell you the number of Halloweens I missed that I didn't want to miss because something blew up or somebody resigned or, you know, it's one of those kinds of businesses. It's like uh, that, that requires dedication, not just from you, but from the people around you. Be sure you want to do it. You're not likely to get really, really wealthy doing it. Keep that in mind. Just have a passion for it because on the days when you hate it, <laughs> the passion will carry you through. Well, every White House has its own little set of challenges. Uh, this current one, uh, the Obama White House, is very, they're control freaks. And uh, particularly for a Sunday show, anybody that works in the administration, you have to go through the White House to get them. So you can't just call up a cabinet secretary and say, hey, want to come on and talk about blah, blah, blah. No. White House deals with all of that. I mean, from, you know, I think we asked for someone from um, NASA at one point, and I had to go through the White House. So there's that. But, you know, it, it's always a give and take uh, with any White House because it's like they've got a story they want out there. So you have to understand that and appreciate that, um, but you have to get what the story actually is. So that's a constant back and forth that isn't always very pleasant, but um, it's a sort of a part of the job. I don't, and why? Because we've got the internet now. I, I just don't think that there is, if you are interested in a subject or in a story, you can find that somewhere. It might be on radio, it might be in the newspaper, it might be on TV, it might be on cable, or it might be on the internet, but you can, you can find it, you know. Maybe you won't find enough of it, but, you know, there are, there are venues to go to, and if you, if you see a story that you're really interested in, these days, there's 83 links they send you to to you know learn more about whatever it is so I don't I uh, I'm not as concerned about how few people own things as I am with what those owners do and I can't speak for you know most of them um, I, I, I do know at CNN went from the time Ted Turner started it to now I've never had um, political pressure to say or do something um, that I thought was wrong or biased or, you know, whatever. I've, I've had plenty of pressure to do stories I didn't want to do, but that's all, that happens every day. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, that's kind of different. And then yeah. the last question. I think that, um, A, you've hit on the basics of my speech, mm -hmm. but I, I, I think uh, it has mastered us and we need to master it. I, I look, we're, we're in the like beginning baby stages of 
understanding the information flow from the internet and what's doable and what's possible and every day it's some different way you can communicate with 12 words, six pictures, 140 characters, whatever it happens to be. Um, and I don't think we've wrapped ourselves around it yet. I think right now it controls us far more than we control it. And I think it's a great, another place to put journalism. Yay. I'm all for it. I just don't think we've quite um, wrestled it to the ground yet.